So today I'm gonna to take you step-by-step step on utilizing Zelle on your Capital One app. Now, you can see we have the app here loaded up in real time so you can follow along step-by-step. Step. Now, keeping in mind that if you have Zelle on other apps or other banks, it is going to be different functionalities. Ideally, it's gonna be mostly the same, but just keeping that in mind. So. Here on our account, we have multiple different uh, checking and savings accounts for us. So what we actually wanna do is first and foremost, choose the account that we actually are utilizing Zelle with, which is our main checking account. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this and actually load up the next page. So now that we're here on the main checking account that we are using, that we actually wanna use Zelle with, I should say, we actually have right over here where it says send money with Zelle. So if we actually click on here, it's gonna take us to the next page that has a lot more settings and features we wanna talk about. So first and foremost, because we already have Zelle on this account, it just brings us to a section that actually shows us all of our completed transactions, whether we received or sent money through Zelle. Now there's a couple different things we wanna talk about first and foremost is here at the very bottom, you have your request and your send buttons. So we're gonna click on those a little bit later because I wanna go over some other features, but we also do have this section up here that says use a QR code. So if you're somebody who maybe wants to send money to somebody or a business and you have their QR code, you can click on here and it opens up a camera to scan that code, as well as having a QR code for your Zelle for people to scan and get that information from. Now, if you need to know what your information is on your Zelle account, such as your email or phone number that's attached and which account it goes into, have no fears. That setting is right up here on the top left. It has that person icon with a little gear shift. We're going to click on that really quick and show you what it's all about. So from right over here, you can see it is the Zelle settings. Like I said, this has the option to go ahead and edit your Zelle. You can manage recipients like adding people or taking away people that maybe you're not sending money to anymore. And if you need to learn more, there is also that setting down here as well. So let's go ahead and click on edit Zelle settings to see what you have available to edit and change on your back end. Now, real quick, as we are going through this, make sure to hit that like and subscribe button to help us out to make more free content just like this. And it really does go a long way. So we appreciate that. Now here in the Zelle settings, this is where you're gonna be able to see again that phone number and email address that you have attached. So for us, we have an email attached to this, which by the way, you can have an email and a phone number attached to the same Zelle account. And it tells you which account it's actually linked to. Obviously our information is blocked on this, uh, but if you needed to add more, you can actually click here, or if you need to remove, you just click on the item that has the removal request, and then you'll have that option to go ahead and remove. Now you can see in this section here, you also have the send and request money, uh, but we're gonna go ahead all the way back to the other page to go ahead and show you what that would look like to be able to send money on Zelle. All right, so we're back here on the main page over here and we're back here down at the bottom right-hand side where it says send, because again, if we're wanting to send this to somebody when it comes to Zelle, this is where we're gonna wanna click on. And that's gonna bring up a whole new page here for us. And first and foremost, we can actually see that it says send again with Zelle. So if you have people that you're sending on a regular basis with on Zelle, this is where you're gonna be able to see them. And anybody that has that little Z on their little icon, that means they have Zelle, whether you are um, in contact with them or not, um, if they're in your contacts as a whole. So you actually would know automatically if you're sending it to them, they already have that Zelle feature. Now, one thing I do want to mention when it comes to Capital One, and this is definitely not true for all, but Capital One doesn't have a way to do a reoccurring Zelle payment. So if you're paying a friend or a roommate on a monthly basis for rent, that's not going to be possible, at least not as of this recording. So from here, you can actually go ahead and add a new recipient, or again, you can go ahead and send it to somebody that has already had Zelle sent to. But for our example, we're gonna show you what it looks like to go ahead and add a new recipient through this process. So from that, we're gonna go ahead and click on add new recipient here at the top. It has that little plus sign icon as well. So it brings up a new menu here at the bottom and it's gonna ask you if this is for friends or family or others, keeping in mind that some companies do offer the option to pay with Zelle. I would be very cautious to only send it to companies you trust as well as to friends and families that you trust. I personally don't want to use Zelle when it comes to anybody that I don't either know or have an affiliation with. So for example, we're gonna click on friends or family and hit the next button. Now here in this section, it's gonna ask you for some information such as the name and then the phone number or email for that Zelle payment. So let that person tell you if they have a phone number or an email that's attached to be able to send to them. Now, one thing with the name is you can actually put any name that you want on here. So if you are paying your landscaper like I have, or if you're paying a friend that has a certain meaning for it, you can actually put that in here. So it doesn't actually have to be a person's name. You can do landscaper, you can do cleaners, you could do, you know, 
rent and that makes it a little bit easier to see in your pay later uh, features and that'll make it easier if you ever wanting to pay that same person again in the future when it's not necessarily an individual but maybe a certain reason for it so for our example here today i'll just go ahead and put in youtube just to kind of show you that you could put any name on there so i went ahead and put youtube and then from down here of course we're going to put in that phone number and then what we're going to do is click add and continue and i'll show you the next step but what's also really interesting is you can actually use your phone contacts if you would like to it's a little jarring for me personally so i just would rather put in their phone number or email myself now obviously we have some of this information blocked off here for us but it will tell you that that phone number or email address is associated with a certain person which in this case is actually myself so you can actually have your information on two separate zelle accounts but they can't be the same email or phone number so something to keep in mind so you can zelle yourself in this process so so for me, I'm going to go ahead and click on continue because everything looks right for us here. And just like that, now we actually have our new details to be able to send to this person. So it says send to YouTube and it's just myself here. You can see my little face on there with the little Zelle icon, meaning that I actually have this active already. And it does tell you how much that you can actually send that person. Sometimes it's a little different per person or per company that you're sending to. Uh, you can reach out to Capital One to see if they can increase that. And then it's going to ask you or it's going to show you which account it's pulling from. Again, this is already linked on the back end. So you could change that on the back end before sending this money. And then any memo that you want to put with this as well. So for our example here today, I'm going to go ahead and send $10 over. So we're going to go ahead and click $10 here and hit done. And then down here, it's going to have us review this. So we're going to click on review. Just going to go over all the details here for us. Again, making sure if we want to add a memo and if everything looks good, we're going to go ahead and slide on the bottom right hand side over here. And then it is going to bring up one last warning for us. And I do encourage you to just double check to make sure you are sending to the right person and all the information looks good. So right here, everything looks good. We're going to click on yes, send money. And you can see right here, it says all done. Your $10 has been sent to YouTube, obviously not the company. And that all the information is going to be there for us. We can go ahead and send another payment. And that money pulls from our checking account right away and gets to them within just a couple of minutes if it's usually over a thousand dollars it can get a little bit more of a time delay to show up on that other person's account now there's more to teach you when it comes to using your money right so check our next video out right over here on screen to keep on learning